Hey everybody, and welcome to the Eastern Shore. How is everybody doing today? Delilah, Goldeneye, Will, Carrie, Lucky7, how y'all doing today? Now, before we get into the map, I have to say, Will always includes a really awesome readme file in all of his maps if you've ever played one of his maps and you haven't looked at the readme file open up the zip and there is a readme first that you should always read first because it gives you background on the map information about how the map works and a little bit of information on where all this stuff came from so since we've got nine minutes before the overlay goes away i thought what the hey let's Let's cover the README because this thing is longer than I can put in the description. It is a beast of a README. Welcome to the Eastern Shore, USA. The map is based in the upper coastal areas of Eastern Virginia along the Eastern Shore of the US. The map pays tribute to a popular FS-17 map called Churn Farm. Quite frankly, Churn Farm was a map that I played in FS17. I did a 24 day seasons playthrough on that map. I think I did three years, three and a half years on that map. And it was a big grind. If you haven't seen that series, I encourage you to go check it out. We did, uh, basically we started with the starting money, the starting fields, 24 day seasons. And that's where we went with it. In the end, I think we owned most of the map and had, I don't know, multi-million dollars in the bank. This map is a fully featured 4X map with accurately scaled field sizes and will be fully seasons compatible. So the version of the map that I have today does not have seasons in there. We'll add that. He'll add that later. This map will also be precision farming ready. I don't think that's in right now, so we ha haven't enabled precision farming. This map includes multi-terrain angle, custom ground textures, crop textures, as well as custom lighting and sounds. So right now we're playing without seasons because it doesn't include the seasons mask at this point. And quite frankly, it's better to do early map testing without as many mods as possible. That way you can help things out. Ravenhawk, what is up? Squad CS, how you doing today? Uh-oh. What's Darren to do? In this map, individual GSI bins and Brock bins will be used. Use a script from GTX to allow any grain crop to be stored in the bin. Unlike before, though, only one crop is allowed at a time. Due to the new script, only one grain. There we go. To switch to a different grain, all the original grain must first be removed, as in real life. Standing in front of the output auger will cause it to appear in the F1 menu, showing you the grain type and the current capacity. Also on this map, as first premiered in FS19's Nebraska Lands, will be Dynamic Mud. I don't think Dynamic Mud is currently enabled. We'll see if we can't find it if it is. There are places like water puddles around the map where it will always be muddy. However, in or in other places after a rain and during the rain, the ground will become muddy. This is a real concept in life. And therefore, if you're running seasons, you will have dynamic mud. This map, as with Nebraska lands, incorpor incorporates available corn stalks. When harvesting your corn with a combine, switch to windrow and lay down corn stalk swath. That can be bailed up for cattle bedding or to sell. You can also take the corn stalks over to Razwood's factory to make pre-compost. So pre-compost is a thing on the map. That means compost is a thing on the map. This map also includes alfalfa as an additional crop type. Alfalfa can be mown, windrowed, and baled, same as grass. You can feed your animals with alfalfa. This map embraces many new features of 2019. Much of the land is viable, including all the field areas, as well as several wooded and empty lots around the map. Even a couple of grass lots located, located near the community. 
Now I did check and it looks like this map has about six viable farms scattered around the map. We'll take a look at those once the uh, overlay goes away. There are transport missions of hauling pallets of stuff from one place to another. Field missions also. There's a log cell point on the map at the old sawmill up in the northern hills. There are several forested areas around the map that you can buy. Jump into logging as well. And several areas of no man land style terrain that you can buy and develop as you see fit. All of player usable farms on the map are built out at the start. When buying a farm, you get all of the objects on the farm, at which time you can keep or sell them at your discretion. In addition, pretty much everything that you see can be bought back. So you can basically rearrange it as you see fit. Uh, squad, I, they basically announced that uh, GPS was something on their to-do list, but I don't think you're gonna see it in FS22, at least not at launch. Might be something they throw into a precision farming update, but who knows? This here, all the train on the map. In, oh, sorry. Also new on this map is a custom train. Nebraska lands. We have a train script. So we have a custom train script on the map and we have the Norfolk and Southern train. We're going to see if we can't find that today. Since this map includes compost and a map should maybe also include anhydrous uh, then there is a custom precision farming included with the download so let's get a little bit of the storyline of the map welcome to eastern shore virginia located on the eastern shore the land is hilly and there are beautiful views in all directions it's also rich farmland here and the land is affordable now you can journey to this area and enjoy the farming experience for yourself you arrive in your trusty old worn truck. You have permission to stay for the time at a historic farmhouse built by the Churn Valley Historic Restoration Society. But you are expected to be industrious and build up your own farming empire here. You begin with basic equipment in a new farmer mode and that's what we're starting with right now. But to work well, and be successful you must also become profitable and expand there is no sugarcane available on the map because we don't grow sugarcane in virginia this map will have a customs geo when it does launch right now we are playing without seasons as i said before we'll, he will add seasons to the map as we get further on in the testing there's a small apple orchard up in the hills to the north that you can buy the land and raise graze, basically, basically have apples to sell at the farmer's market. You can also buy more apple trees to expand your orchard somewhere else. All of the farming supplies, such as fertilizer seed, must be bought at the various sell points. So there's no bulk buy triggers. Fuel storage is available at the farms. This map has anhydrous as a specific fill type. So if you wish to use anhydrous, you'll need to make sure you have a anhydrous capable mod. Also, you'll need to use, as I said earlier, the custom precision farming that is built for anhydrous and compost. There are fillable storage tanks on the main farm for liquid fertilizer and herbicide. Fill them to store your supplies right on the farm. Animal pens are pre-configured to use the Animal Pen Extension Mod by GTX. Let's see here. We will get to the rest of this in an evening live stream because we've got 30 seconds till we fire this thing up for legit. I have to say, this map has been a map that uh, many people have been waiting for for probably about, I don't know, three years. It was originally going to come out in FS17 in a different iteration. That didn't happen, but here it is. Hey 
right, everybody, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Eastern Shore USA. This is a 4X map, so it will be PC only when it releases. This map is based on a FS17 map named Churn Farms. That was a standard size map and uh, was a really fun map to play. I did a 24 day seasons playthrough on the map. So Churn Farms is basically this area right here. And then it has been expanded out to encompass this part or additional land area. This map does include alfalfa, so technically it is multi-fruit. It also includes compost as an adjustable or as a possible fill type. This is where you start your career start point. Includes a cool little garage. Let's drive around this place and uh, check it out. Now on a new farmer mode, you do not own any land at the start. So you will have to buy your farm and you have a choice of, it looks like six different farms on this map that you could start out with. We're going to drive up here to the, probably the, the farm that most people will pick to start out with. And that is the cow farm. Anyone that played churn farms will recognize a lot of these road layouts, at least initially. I could go inside that log cabin too, Carrie. I'm going to have to mention to Will, it doesn't look like there's a sleep trigger in there. So he might, I don't know if he's going to add a sleep trigger or not. Do you have collisions on the hedges? And here we have some custom ground texture. Oh my gosh, are you serious? This map has got poplar on it, or this field has poplar in it. There we go. So Churn Farms was a British inspired map so we do see some of that inspiration still here with respect to the hedging it is an expanded churn farms but yes it is basically the churn farm map expanded and uh, basically re reimagined on the eastern coast of the u.s think of it as a group of rich people who came over from europe uh, and wanted to recreate the churn farm area in Virginia. And that's what we got here. So we've got our dairy operation. We've got our dairy barns. We'll get all these animals fired up. Oh, we got to fix that. We got to lower those. Get a little bit of altitude. Ah, uh, the hedges on the street did have collision. Yeah. So we got storage for slurry. We have our manure. These are likely going to be our fermenting silos. So, yep, grass, chaff, and alfalfa, and we'll make silage. This is using the GTX production script. This map has no global company. You do not need global company in any way on this map. Of course, if you wish to add global company, then do so at your own desires, but it is not required at all. Why don't we just fly around, right? Why don't we just fly around? Uh, Sim Noob, where's that released at?
Let's pull up the PDA. Let's pull up the PDA and look at the um, look at the viable farms. So we started out right here. This is where we started out. This is not viable. That's the historical society. So the dairy farm you can buy for one hundred fifty-nine thousand dollars. There is an arable farm over here you can buy for sixty-five thousand dollars. We have a pig farm, buy for thirty-seven thousand dollars. We have a small or small sheep operation for one hundred and two thousand dollars. There is a chicken farm over here for seventy thousand dollars, and that is the churn farm aspect of the map. Then we have over here an expanded area. We have another dairy farm, two hundred thirty-three thousand dollars. And we have an equestrian farm or horse farm up here to the north for $60,000. Take a little lands. <laughs> Sorry, we've got several viable grassland areas here that you could buy and build out and do whatever you should so wish. Lots of predefined fields, forested areas, or scattered around. Go ahead and uh, continue on. Uh, Victor, this is a 4X map, so it will it will be for PC only. Oh, okay, I'm gonna check it out, Sim Noob. I don't know when I'll have an opportunity to uh, to do a map video on it, but I'll go check it out because I'm going to be out of town starting tomorrow morning. So here we have oh look at this we have a nice historical society. Oh, this is cool. Oh my, they got to clean there. So that was the original map for Farm Sim 17, the original churn farm. And now if we take a look at the PDA, you can see that basically is replicated right here. And then we have the rest expanded out. Oh, who's driving the Viper? It's not a Viper, that's Corvette. So if you buy this area, there are some greenhouses that can give you some money. Go ahead and look across the map. And what the hey, let's go ahead and pull up some stats. Now remember, I am running at 1440p ultra high settings. I am also streaming to you at 1440p on the same machine. But you'll see that this is smooth as butter. Got a nice little beach down here. Let's make our way over to the biogas plant and then we'll check out these other farms. That is a port that has several cell points and, and bulk buy points, yes. So 
So the observation tower is basically at the highest point of the map, I believe. Some of these fields can be quite steep. So here we have our biogas plant. Compost facility. So here you have your silage bunkers for compost, I should say. So anyone that has played on Will's maps before knows that there is the ability to make compost. First, you have to take some product to the Raswood factory to produce pre-compost or basically biomass. And then you take the biomass over to those bunkers and then put them in there, compact them, cover them, and then you get yourself some compost. So here we have the sheep pasture and a little old farmhouse. I believe all these farmhouses are enterable. Where we have our sleep trigger. Oh my, this person has got some interesting decorative decoration going on. And our, we don't own this, so we don't have a sleep trigger yet. So. Duh, we can't use it till we own it. Ah, uh, this map is not released. It will be over at Simply Safe Mods when it does release. And then we'll head over down the street just a little bit to get to the pig area. This area mirrors Churn Farms, very, very similar. So we have our silo. We have our pig area for the pig farm here. And then the, there is the farmhouse. Is it in here? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, look at this, people. This is cool. Your, uh, your pig farm farmhouse is here off the barn. Boy, talk about a modest living. You live in your barn. That is pretty dang cool. So we're going to cut over here to one of the forested areas. And then take a little shortcut. Oh, here we have a uh, an abandoned field. So if you buy this land, you can buy this abandoned field for $15,000. Clear the trees out of it and then makes yourself uh, use of the field. Nice dense forest down here if you into forestry. And they're gonna make our way over here to the arable farm. <laughs> I golf dibs. Dibs on what? So here we have the arable farm. Modernization, Americanization of what we would see on a um, on the churn farm map. Again, if 
If you have FS17, I encourage you to go check out the churn farm. Uh, Zach, no, not with, uh, not with FS22 coming so soon. We're going to keep, we're going to keep the, the, uh, the server running on Susquehanna for one more year, probably. And then, those are nice flowers. And then, uh, then we're going to be shutting that down, basically, as FS22 comes. Churn Farm did not come out for FS19. I know Darren was tinkering with it, I think. JFK shot first. What's up? Oh, speaking of that. This video is brought to you by Rabbit Rob. Thank you for being a farm baron. We can't have that going. Got missed. So who's got dibs on this arable farm? Storage for diesel, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, this massive tree. You know, you know, you can hide up in here in Halloween time, scare the bejesus out of little kids. <laughs> okay, here is our farmhouse for the arable farm. Every farmhouse is unique in its own regard. All of these grain bins are individual grain bins that you need to put the crop into. Joe Joker, what is up? So these Brock bins, let's see, do we start with any crop? Remember this is all pre-release testing. Things are subject to change. Barley, canola, sunflowers. Ah, oh, look at this nice new shiny GSI bin. That one's empty. And a nice shiny Brock bin. So we got some, oh, another small, sorry. GSI bin, it's got some corn in it. sunflower field up here and then we have a big forested area up here grass field i remember mowing this grass field 17 on churn farms but i also you see how this field just falls away so we're coming up to the historical society right here that's where we start and then i made this into a grass field on churn farms i've got to think about fields with with little groves of trees in the middle so you know field 15 was was prime picking for me and then we have the dairy over here for milk sales Now the interior of the map is very hilly. So you want to make sure you have plenty of horsepower on these fields. And then we're going to take a look at the new expanded park here in a moment. Let's get up here at the observation tower and so we can truly observate, observate. Now, right now, the map is needing to go onto a little bit of a diet because it's a little bit too big to go on the multiplayer server. But once we get it trimmed down a little bit, we're going to load it up to a multiplayer server. So we do multiplayer testing on it. Jimmy Romanowski, long time no see. How you doing, buddy?
Right, let's head on over here to the shop. Got some road work going on down here. Watch out for some washed out roads. It looks like you're you're gonna be luck, Ravenhawk, because it's a John Deere shop. And there might be some stuff down here already. Oh wait, what? Oh, we're gonna have to fix that. Looks like one of your harvesters are down here. And looks like we get a uh, 7R. All right, let's go to the expanded areas. See if we can't find that train. Let's see, where's the, uh... There's the road cut through. There it is. to say welcome to churn valley well thank you so much oh and then there's the visitor center oh that makes sense now that makes sense so now we are expanding out to the new part of the map So we have our animal dealer, Tri-County Livestock Sales. Oh my lord, who wants, who wants to do some poplar? So every CCS 101 map has to have a Dollar General, and there she is. We've got an Exxon station, and if if I know my CCS 101 right, the price on the sign is the price at the pump. We have our anhydrous. Like I said, this map includes anhydrous, so there you're gonna we're gonna buy your anhydrous at. Bulk purchase of liquid fertilizer and herbicide, no doubt. So farmers market sell point. And where are we at? Right, let's spin around so we can go check out the uh, cow farm maybe we'll be lucky enough to see the uh, train so here we have bulk fertilizer buy point Eastern Shore fertilizer sales Let's see if any of these plots of land are viable. Aha, uh -huh, that's a thought. So you can buy this plot right here where they are building a house. And then once you buy that, watch this, okay? So you'll see our garage. This is, this is not gonna be indicative of your starting equipment. This obviously may change. 
So your starting equipment right here. Now you notice that we could we could have got we got in that John Deere harvester and 7R, but it's not listed here. That is because that's owned by the shop. But you can use it. Interesting point. But let's buy this plot of land. Then I'll show you what happens. Boom. Now I own the house. I can sell it. Right? And then I can say, you know what? Well. Somebody said I didn't have enough money. There, now I have myself a nice little farmhouse. So this is the dairy. This is one of the cow farms. Oh, right next to the train. Sweet. We might have to fast forward time to get the train to come through. Then the farmhouse is up here on the hill as well as the rest of the farm it looks like. So it's our farmhouse, detached garage. Oh, who doesn't love a double-decker barn? Who does not love a double-decker barn? Do you have a double-decker barn? So that is the dairy barn. Lovely. What is over here? Oh, this is like an old... Oh, look, check this out. It's like an abandoned barn. Not really abandoned, but... It's like the older barn. It's off here to the side. Sweet. All right. Oh, look at this prime farmland. I don't know, Carrie, I mean, or Ravenhawk, you, you dibbed on that other farm. You might be changing your mind as you see other farms. Well, this just looks like a uh, bit of an abandoned area. So that was the animal dealer we saw when we came in. Town was over here to our left. Just a bit of a decorative farm there. And then we're coming up here to the northern side of the map where we'll have areas that you can buy to kind of build out whatever you want. Here we have a train siding spur, some sell points, some buy points. So the train is not drivable, it is decorative. We have a storable silo. This is the horse farm. And then we move into the 
No Man's Land-esque areas that you can buy. And do whatever you want. Oh, look, you can buy some nice... Can you buy some nice lakeside property? You can indeed. Look, you can buy some lakeside property. And uh, build your farm out right by the lake. Complete with a boat ramp. So Raz can get his little boat out here and uh, and putter around. Complete with the boat ramp. All right, let's go see this train. I know it's on a timer. Oh, uh, Marcelo, once the map releases, we still have to go through a fair bit of testing. We just got the map today, this morning, from the map author. So typically it's gonna go through a few weeks of single player, multiplayer testing. And then once that concludes, it'll be uploaded over to simplysafemods.com. along the train line. That way, if it does come through here. We will see it. HS with the super chat. Five pound super chat. Lack of a donos is unacceptable. Well, oh, oh, here's the train. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Smike it loud. Like I said, the train is is just animated it's not uh it's not drivable but it is something you would see quite a bit of if you own that uh dairy operation up here in the north uh northwest ah she's a long one pretty good too all right that was fun oh i'm sure it was more than 70 <laughs> 70 cars but yeah let's get some altitude so we can see the whole thing the whole thing all right let's get to doing some farming what do you say buy each farm and uh, see what we get with it. So this is the main dairy farm on the center part of the map, churn farm part of the map. $159,000.
And like I said, when you buy the farm, everything becomes yours. So old wall, we have the cow barn. We have two silos, farm loft. We have fuel storage, stuff that we can get rid of. Bale stacks and our farmhouse. So if you buy this, you can basically sell every little bit that you see here and build it out to your own regard or keep it or just rearrange it. Jimmy Romanowski with the super chat. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you very much. Hope you have been well. I haven't seen you for a while. Then we have the arable farm. $65,180. Again, that is going to expand our stuff that we own. Let's head on over here to the alpha or the pig farm. So the churn farm map is basically an edit of the FS 11 map base game map. I don't remember the name of that map. So that was the pig farm. Let's go ahead and buy the sheep farm while we're at it. Uh, we'll buy the chicken area. Oh, this is, oh, so this is the chicken forum and this is basically the churn farm historic society area right there. Then we have the large dairy operation over here. Uh, we can buy the silo complex. And that one. So at that point, we our garage is like loaded out. I mean, we've got all kinds of placeables because the premise is you buy the farm pre-built. If you like it how it is, then you can keep it. If you don't like how it is, then you can uh, then you can sell stuff off. Oh, look at this. This is cool. So it's going to cost. I'm going to lose 600 bucks if I get rid of the old dead oak. But I'm going to earn money if I sell off this other stuff. Twin barn. Uh, we might need a graphic for that. I like that there's bale stacks included. Oh, let's check out the placeables. So we got the pig pen, pasture. Might need a graphic there. Chicken house, horse stable, cow barn. Corn dryer. So we do have the ability to dry corn. Various greenhouses. Oh, we need to fix that. Oh, the apple orchard. We didn't really see where the apple orchard was. Uh, it's probably up here. No, but see, so you can buy that plot of land right there, clear it. Have yourself some nice lakeside property. He said the orchard was to the north. Maybe it's maybe it's one of these. I'm looking for a row of trees. What about the BGA uh, Ravenhawk?
So that's grass. Uh, there is the lumber mill. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. Oh, do we have some more abandoned fields up here? That's what it looks like. Yeah, we got another abandoned field. Oh, I'm gonna buy everything here in a minute. Ah, uh, there it is, there it is. There's the, the apple orchard. There's the apple orchard right there. These little dots. You can buy all kinds of different silos, brock bins, rusty bins, clean bins, shiny bins, liquid storage. sheds and then of course all the various iterations of farmhouses there we go raven hot now we own it all we own everything what is this this is the uh Where are we at? Oh, this is a different angle on the main cow farm. All right. Let's buy some animals. Get this thing started. That's a nice shiny gate. Okay. It's over here, I guess. Let's how now, brown cow. Let's go see what these guys require. Mixed rations, hay, alfalfa, hay, silage, grass, alfalfa, water, corn stalks, or straw. this away then some ventilation going on let's go buy some animals the other facilities Go. Now I can see. Forty two days, four hours, and thirteen minutes. And again, this is where we load in at. Storyline going that we're new to the area, but we're allowed to basically stay at the uh, 
Churn Farms Historical Society Log House. Well, you gotta have some time to uh, to play this map, Ravenhawk. Coming around here to the dairy. For our milk sales. Uh, right now there is no traffic on the map that will be added before release. Run over here to the Piggly Wigglies. road Go get some sheep. Animal loading, okay. on around to the chicken farm. We're running buttery smooth. Buttery smooth. Take a look at the hillsides on the fields across from us. These are some big old hill boys. How about, how about you round bale challenge? You only do round bales on this map. That is a huge hill. So the Churn Valley Nursery, the BGA, the nursery is where we're going to be doing our compost work. I can have a nice relaxing stay at the home style bed and breakfast overlooking the uh, Atlantic Ocean
I don't know if you want to be going across that hillside. So this is... What is this area? Wow, we have a couple usable silos here. I'm going to turn around. Because I want to go around the outside. All oh, the farmhouses are interable. Yes. Uh, there shouldn't be too many decorative buildings you can't go into. At least not at the farms. We're going to be back on tonight at our normal time doing some more live streaming and testing of this map. Right now, this is kind of just more exploratory and looking around. Prior to the live stream, I've had maybe about 15 minutes on the map. We are on the beach. <laughs> we are on the beach. And then we have a nice lighthouse that no doubtably is going to light up at night. What's this say? Churn Valley Historic Society. Dixie May, welcome to the stream. Oh, I forgot. We bought all the land, didn't we? So over here we have what looks like Raswood. So this is where we're going to be making our pre-compost. Go check that out. It is indeed. So manure. And then either straw, corn stalks, sugar beets, or potatoes. We'll make pre-compost. And then the pre-compost goes over here to the nursery. Churn Valley Nursery. And inside the nursery here. We have bunkers that are set up to take pre-compost and the pre-compost then, um, then will compact and form compost. And you can use the compost either on your fields as fertilizer or you can sell it typically for good money. Oh, very good money. There you go compost uh, there is a flour mill we have to figure out where that is but we can take our our cereal grains some of our cereal grains and make flour we also have apples that we could make we do have the ability to make corn stalk straw as we said dried corn is also available on the map as well as evaporated milk so we bring milk to probably the dairy and maybe make evaporated milk. Just have to see.
down here at the pile gas plant we have some more equipment that we can use we don't own it but we have the ability to use it so that's important to know I'm trying to figure out where i left my truck where's my truck oh i left it down here This map is brought to you by the same map author as Emerald Coast, Nebraska Lands, just to name a few. So here is the working port where we have East Coast Cotton Shippers, so our cotton cell point, maybe our wool cell point also. We have fuel down here. And Mideast shipping. So this is also going to be where you're going to be able to. I'm sure they're going to have some transport contracts. Mideast shipping going to be for flour okay hey they need to bring the container ships over here from the west coast way we can get them offloaded here we have a dump station This is interesting. Oh, okay. Dry corn, sunflowers in A, corn, wheat, soybean, and canola in B. I wonder which one's A and B. That's neat. Neato. Those fans were spinning. Here we have cell point for potatoes and a sugar beet. buy stuff. We'll have to figure out what we can buy down here. So this is oh, on Churn Farms. This was a yeah. Sorry, this was a wool cell point. Oops. Just check and make sure there's no illegal activity going on in here. You know, the port, you never know what you might get. Oh, maybe the maybe the Ark of the Covenant is one of those boxes. Electronics! Oh, you know what? This is where all my 3090s are at. Finn, what is up? Not sure what you're saying there, buddy, but it, it looks like you're saying hello.
I like the details. We got uh, got graffiti on the cranes and everything. That looks cool. David, welcome. How's it? How's it in Germany? So this was a cell point in the FS17 Churn Farms version. I'm not seeing an icon show up. I wonder if this is. Is this supposed to be the the uh, flour mill? Maybe it's nothing now. Yeah, so. No, there's a dump trigger there. It's not viable land. That is bought. Let's get back here. I wonder if that's supposed to be the grain mill for flour. We'll find out. Will will tell me. All right, we're coming around our chickens. Got a little residential area on our left. Looping around, the shop is going to be on our right. So the shop's on our right, and then that road will take us back around to the dairy farm and the historical society house that we start at. And then we have our chicken farm. A little historical farm. Ah, uh, Bryn, no, I do not. chickens I don't know why would I David Also, during map testing, typically it is best to limit the number of mods that you have activated. That way you know that you will not have interference, conflicts. Uh, but your Mercedes doesn't do this. That's the sign of a true quality automobile. Let's see here. 
I think we need to go down one more. Richmond, 65 miles. Heck yeah. So remember we bought this plot and plopped down a house. Oh, this is our corn dryer, I bet. Yeah, this is our corn dryer. So where's the info? There it is. Propane corn makes dried corn. We got to figure out where we can buy our propane. And then we have, I wonder if these have corn in them. That'd be cool. Nothing, nothing. And oh, a little bit of corn. So we gotta figure out where we can buy our propane and then we can fire up the corn dryer. It is indeed. Go up here and get some cows. And then we've got another more silage fermenters here. Where do we drop our cows off at? Straw. Here we are. Get out of the way before that thing smacks you. Eastern Shore America, hence uh, Eastern Shore USA. The map is designed to be Eastern Virginia, Northeastern Virginia, if you will. East Coast Virginia, obviously, with a sign 60 some miles to Richmond. We need to go uh, get some horses. That should be the last set of animals we need to buy. Maybe we'll find a propane buy point on the way. Uh, this should be a maintenance trigger. Yep, Charlie's equipment repair. We can bring in here and do maintenance. I see. I see they're already busy with John Deere's in there. Uh, okay, so that is that's the end of the line. That is going off into distant scenery. We need to turn back of this road. Churn Valley is 0.7 miles that way. So we have anhydrous, farm chemical. It's probably herbicide and it's probably herbicide. Down here. Pine or seed. Oh, okay. 
Falk seed purchases. Down here. So pull up under the pipe and get bulk seed. There we go. Classic country road. what's in here still haven't figured out where we make um oh uh, this might be pig food yeah we can uh, buy bulk pig food from here and i bet this is bulk lime All of these sell points and buy points are going to have open and close hours. Uh, that road's going to take us up to the sawmill. these roads I need to take. Oh, it's up here. And then we have the horse farm. See if we start out with any oats. We do start out with oats. Nice. Check our normal. Okay, yeah, we've already looked at that one. Nothing special there. Wheat and barley for chickens. Corn, wheat, barley. That's all pretty standard. Standard, other than the addition of alfalfa. Hey, alfalfa, hey, oats. All right. So now we got our animals. Then we need to uh, get these guys fed and watered. Make sure all the triggers are working. Get some manure pumping out. Slurry. Oh, the indestructible mailbox. Got a fair where propane can be bought so we can start drying some corn. Uh, weeds are enabled. One stop shop A.
again, if you're more of a relaxing farmer, you can buy some property down here by the lake. Because that lot is available. And then this lot over here is available. I know the neighbors would appreciate somebody buying this land so they could uh, get to grass mode. And then we have the boat launch. Oh, that's going to stink. Where am I? Oh, I'm up here. Oh, I'm so glad that they could tow my truck back here to the shop. So let's just park this back here at the Historical Society. There we go. All right. Trucks. No. Okay, and Hydra's Ammonia, so that is included with the download. Augers are included. You will need augers to get product in and out of all of the GSI and rock bins. They are included with the download. Get these guys some water. Ta -da, ta -da. All right, let's figure out where we can buy water at. Oh, uh, let's reference. reference this text file water is available from the main farm water tank or from the lake <laughs> from the lake for free all right Oh, Will might want to look at that. Some of these speed bumps might be a little bumpy. Maybe we better open this other gate.
There we go. Let's see here. Let's see if we can find it. So I'll be honest, I haven't spent enough time on the map to know where things are yet. Alright, I don't think it's here. Must be over at the other farm. Richard, welcome to the stream. Get out of the trigger, come back in. There we go. So if you ever have one of those double gates, you need to make sure that you leave the trigger in order to activate the other side of the gate. It is, Ma Richard, it is a uh, map that we are testing for the map author. We're going to be putting some content out on the channel during our live testing. He likes to watch us do the testing online. That way he can, uh, sometimes he sees things we don't notice. Like I'm trying to figure out where the, uh, where's the dang water at? Good luck for it. For real. It should be this. It should be like that metal water tank. Player speed. Papa Potato Club. It is a 4X map, so it will be PC only. Alright, it's not here. Oh, shoot. I don't want to be in the farmhouse. Um... I don't see it there. It's not there. It's not there. Right now, the main goal is to make sure all of the Various animal triggers work. All right, well, we will figure out where the uh, water trigger is later. For now, we're going to put water in it.
But if you like a map that has rolling hills, uh, this map definitely has rolling hills and flatland to the north and um, and west to the expanded area. But does anybody remember the base map for FS11? What was it called? Miseria, welcome to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. It's okay. It's okay, Ravenhawk. We're talking about a different ma different map. FS11, the base map. Anybody remember what it was called? Because Churn Farm was actually based off of that map. See, chickens don't take chickens don't take water what are you talking about let's take a different route over to the uh, pigs and sheep we're gonna take a windy route So, Churn Farm, which was the FS-17 inspiration of the center part of this map, was actually an edit of the FS-11 base map. So you can see that some of the uh, some of this map basically goes back to FS-11 days, as far as its inspiration field layouts. Oh, that speed bump on that uh, on that hillside that's just destined to uh, that's just destined to roll at some trailers of hay or straw uh, pop a potato club I do not know what the map authors intentions are for FS 22 what maps he plans on bringing forward Yeah, it seems like some of those speed bumps have taller collisions than others. I mean, that hillside. Oops, sorry. This is a uh, this is a grassy area. Let me turn it off. Too fast now. So that is the heck of a mobile hillside. Various grain storage is scattered around the map. Here, a nice view of the Atlantic Ocean. Since we are coastal Virginia. Yeah, well, technically, if you add the Animal Pen Extension mod, it will add water to the base chicken. Poop.
Although I really don't think you want to put chicken manure out on your fields. That's some pretty nasty stuff. Buzz Laser, welcome to the stream. Glad you can make it. Road ends here. Gotta get through here. There's wool, okay. I think tonight we're going to try to make some alfalfa hay. I think Darren's going to try to join me. I'm going to try to get uh, Genetic J on. Ah, he's missing a trigger marker here. I don't know if he wants to put trigger markers there. He's missing it. Shortcut. There you go. This will give you an idea of the hills. The incline. Um. <laughs> there. Does that give you a little bit of a sense of the steepness of the, some of these hills? might let me buy water up here. What? Oh, come on. You know, you get your fingers on the wrong buttons. There we go. Ah, uh, we are buying it water does cost here Miguel what is up I 
know that water by point works. I take shortcuts. Oh, you're downloading FS11. Just to get the name of the map? So this, this is, this isn't so. Way back, I've said I played, we played FS17, Churn Farm, and this is exactly where there used to be an, a tunnel. This was the edge of the map. There was a tunnel right here. And at the end of the Churn Farm series, I took my pickup truck and I drove into the tunnel and we did a fade to black. And then the very next series that we started, was on um, on an island map and I carried the truck over and the very first video for that particular series I drove into town in that truck so that was a fun little continuation of uh, a story Let's go up here and water these cows. Still looking for the uh, propane buy point. So Richmond is 65 miles that way, which is to the west. Well, that doesn't make sense. Richmond should be to the east. At any rate. The map really does open up once you get over here to the new area. These guys some water, and then we should only have our cow, our horses, right? Water, 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 water. Yep, horses are the only thing that needs water. Know how that's taken care of? It's called Map One. <laughs> when you load into it, it doesn't have a name. Well, you should notice the PDA looks an awful lot like the middle of this map.
do need to figure out where that propane is bought. Ah, there's the compost cell point. Oh, really? The map that shall have no name. So, map one <laughs> was brought forward and it was converted into churn farms for FS, I think, 15. Then it was brought forward into FS 17. And now it is the part or the basis of the Eastern Shore map. And then it's obviously been expanded out from there. Uh, we need to water our I think we need to water our apples see if we get apples running yeah tonight I want to get alfalfa hay so we can feed our animals get the corn dryer running get some of this other production stuff up and running Did you all see that uh, Rockstar is going to re-re-re-release GTA 3 and a couple of the other, I guess, expansions to GTA 3 as like the definitive GTA edition. So you can buy it all over again. Oh, HS, don't you know? Don't you know FS13 was just 11 with mods? 15 was 13 with mods. And it's this is 22 is just 19 with mods. Nothing has changed since since the inception. The farming simulator, it's, it's all identical. Nothing. There's been no improvements. I want to see if I can get water out of the lake. The description said I could get water out of the lake. That's what we're going to test. Water from the lake. Does this road take me around the lake? Let's see. You know what? This, a bad apple a day will ruin Facebook forever. Speaking of, where are we going? Wow. Oh my goodness. This is not going to take us around the lake. This is taking us out here to no man's land. Literally, this is the no man's land esque area of the map where you could, if you wished, buy these plots. I mean, given the price, I mean, $500,000 for that big chunk, that's pretty dang good. You can buy this, clear the trees, keep the trees, make it your own map. Into the road, son. So this map literally probably has something for everybody. You want to build your own map? 
you got that. You wanna you wanna play on a hilly hilly area? You got that in the middle. You wanna play on a more contemporary, more flat, squarish fields? You've got that to the north and the west. Where is the lake? This would be a great map for multiplayer. Once, once Will can get it get it weight lost. Right now it's too big for multiplayer. I tried to upload it to the server this morning and it was a no-go. The server basically choked on it and said, uh, I think not. HS, I am not. I'm not pre-ordering the season pass. And honestly, I I don't really recommend others because we don't know really what's in it. Uh, it, it depends. So this is my stance on it. If you're the type of player that will buy all that bought all the DLC in 19 as a supporting giants type of a thing then I would say you're probably not going to have that many issues with pre-ordering um, FS22 Season Pass because you're probably going to order it anyway, right? You're probably going to buy the D whatever comes out regardless. So for those players, you might as well because it's, it's going to be a little cheaper. If you're the type of player that picks and chooses what additional content they buy and you maybe have only bought a few select pieces of content for 19, then you probably will want to wait and see what the additional content is because the, uh, the prospect of saving some money may be the fact that you just wouldn't buy two thirds of the, uh, or buy a half or three fourths of the DLC anyway. So that's how you save money, is basically you're not gonna buy it all anyway. So, I mean, the way they're doing the season pass, it's not very descriptive of what it is, right? They've just got some loose descriptions of what's going on with it and we know that there's a big expansion in the fall of next year that's going to include a map that's about all we know so i think for most people you're probably going to want to wait and just see what that first dlc is before you really make up a mind if you're going to want to buy it or not What is this? This looks really cool. This would be... Why is this not like a bail cell point? Right? Why is that not like a bail cell point? But it's nothing. Alright, where do we need to go? There's the orchard. Okay. I mean, this would be cool. It was something. It's quite possible, Zach. I mean, that would be four, eight, that'd be 12 expansions. That'd be a heck of a lot of uh, additional content. Or if you had the plans for 12 expansions, would you, would you milk it and just dribble, drabble stuff out? I hope not. Yeah, we know that there's four expansions in year one. 
if there's four expansions in year two and three, that's 12 sets of paid content. So you would you would you know your developers would be working on on the paid content as well as the next big thing. Real farmer, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Trying to make my way over here to the apple orchard. Oh, definitely, Zach. It's definitely a uh, it's definitely a play to have a more sustainable or consistent um, revenue stream. Water and manure makes apples. Yeah, the thing with with the one and done season pass is is you get money up front and then no more revenue off of that that player for the entire game cycle right so not that not that I'm encouraging or wanting or saying that game developers should be nickel and diming players. That's that's not the case. But they're a company. They have to be profitable. They have to pay people. You know, people work there. So they have to have a, a constant revenue stream in order to pay their expenses. And having it where you get a huge influx of cash on launch day or before launch and then that cash is supposed to carry you through most of the dev cycle of the next game yeah with with purchases coming in here and there but your big batch of money is going to be coming in you know real soon after launch You've got to be real good steward of that of that cash. All right, so we got that done. Oh, yeah. in-game microtransaction purchases that's a complete pain in the butt so 
So we got a big forest up here, big forested area. Lots of forestry potential here on the map. No, that's going to loop around. I can sneak. Ah, uh, let's hope not. Golden Eye, let's hope not. guys that's gonna do us for right now but we'll be back on this map doing some more live stream and some more testing tonight at our normal time frame of 8 p.m eastern so approximately four hours from now the goal for tonight is going to be to get the animals fed try to get some alfalfa hay going maybe seeing if we can't figure out where the propane is to uh, get some dry corn and maybe maybe get some uh, stuff working on raswood we'll just have to see until next time happy farming <laughs>